Look at this trough right here. Not cheap. They want 436. All right, well, I can come out here and look at bricks later. Let's go inside. There's some wrought iron. We're gonna go inside and uh, look for those doors. This right here is real nice. What exactly is it and how much they want? Woo! $956. Good Lord. That'll be a nice trellis. 1,195. Ooga mooga. It was an interesting uh, fireplace enclosure here. Let's look at the detail. That's nice. Not sure what the price tag is. This one right here is nice too. Woo wee! It's not cheap. Here's some more slate tiles or slate chunks. Nice to do a, uh, a patio, I tell you. Yep. Some more stone. This is stuff right here I just purchased. Yep. Okay. Pretty gaudy, huh? Look at this, they even selling church pews. So what we got over here? We got some garden ornament type-ish. This green, this is really nice. This right here, how much they want for that? So the costs or the prices are dated. So on November 18th of last year, this was 462. And the closest date to today, today is the, I believe the 20th of February. So it's going for $300. Uh, this is nice. So November of last year, it was 172. So it's about $100. I could probably get that for 75. cup of tea but I could always bronze them today's date is going for two hundred dollars these are pretty cool too today's date is going for two hundred dollars hmm Put that out in the garden somewhere in a bed. Probably put a nice decorative urn on top. Hmm. What do you guys think about this? 
This is for mature audiences only. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful though. The detail. Seven G's. Not sure how much how many repairs need to be done so that it can be operable again, but yeah. This is nice too. It's 251. For your pots. <laughs> For a supper. This might be a nice plant stand, I guess. Hmm. Wine rack. You get you put your wine in there. Definitely will reframe that, but that's a nice painting of nature. Nice stained glass. Mm. I do like that. These are some really nice doors. Not sure what age this is. I don't know if it's gothic or, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea, but really nice detail very castle like might be gothic i don't know i think i see a glass door yeah it is broken that'll be a huge coal frame <laughs> so heavy these steel is that real 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 old school doors interesting it is it's like the hobbit hobbit door Woo. that's nice that is super long I think. but that would make a nice cold frame and solid glass panel too what do you guys think pretty long huh look at all this beautiful reclaimed wood oh, beautiful shout out to Laura from Garden Answer <laughs> probably her right here right up her alley she can get that for her greenhouse 4300 price tag. Don't worry, I think we're getting closer. What about that right there? It's probably part of a whole piece. Yeah. The shit might have asbestos on it for you know, but. Ooh, oops. <laughs> Come crashing down, you hear a big bang. Just beautiful. Look at that. All right, folks, I think we've hit the jackpot in terms of great coal frame covers. Um, these are all windows for the most. Nice. It's chipped at the bottom. This one right here is nice. That'll be a nice long cover for a coal frame. Look at this. This is really nice. This is nice too. You can fit a lot of plants in there. All right, so 
I ended up scooping up two concrete finials, two concrete garden finials from Second Chance. These are roughly, I wanna say two feet tall, 24 inches by nine inches wide. And I plan on using these once the greenhouse is up, flanking the outside of the doorway. So I think that'll be a nice look. Okay, so here I have another pineapple concrete finial. And you can tell this is something that I'm gonna incorporate a lot in my garden. So this one is about 14 inches high and roughly a foot wide. Of course, all of that I gotta clean up, but I think it's I think it's a great look right there. So here's the window here for the cold frame. It's roughly five feet, a little bit over five feet long and just under two feet wide. So that'll be a nice cold frame. I'm gonna go ahead and get that going within the next week or so. This way I can get a head start on all my leafy greens, like my lettuce, spinach, and kale, of course. And this is double pane, double pane. Um, it's practically brand new, still in the package. Check that out, still in the package. So this is a pretty good deal. This was roughly, I bargained for this one. This was about $65. I paid about $65 for this window piece right here. All right, guys, so thanks so much for hanging with me. I had a blast going to Second Chance over the weekend. And again, like I said, if you wanna find some really good bargains for your garden, there's a lot of secondhand type thrift stores and vintage shops out there. All you gotta do is look. Where else would I find a brand new window for under $70? It's crazy. So I implore you to go out there and take advantage of any second hand, any goodwill, any Salvation Army, in this case, second chance. Get out there, find those deals, spend less money, and let's build our gardens together. Thanks for watching again. This is AJ's Green Thumb. Go ahead.